Let's talk about the vagina. You heard me, right? The vagina. Come closer, it's going to be an interesting discussion. Well, more specifically, we're going to talk about vaginal discharge, which is a source of distress for a lot of women out there and some men too. So this matters to everybody. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's have a fabulous discussion. Stick and stay. Definitely going to be worth it. So I got a question from a subscriber who has been distressed by the very subject of this video. And the question goes like this. Doctor, is it normal to have a vaginal discharge every single day? <laughs> I can feel the distress in the message. So let's break it down a little bit. Let's lay some foundation. First of all, understand that what you see on the outside is the vulva. The vagina is a canal from the vulva and ends at the cervix, which is the mouth of the womb. Now for most of a woman's life, the vagina behaves like a blind pouch, a closed, you know, canal. It's open at one end and it's closed at the other end. The only times when the cervix is open is usually when you are having your period. So outside of your period, your cervix is closed, which means nothing goes in and nothing comes out of the uterus, which technically means the vagina ends in a blind pouch. Of course, when you are ovulating, the cervix is open a little. However, there's a mucus plug that doesn't just allow anything to go through, right? Of course, semen or sperms can go through and some other things can go through as well. But to a large extent, there's a plug there to regulate what goes in and what comes out when you're ovulating. So when you are menstruating, then it's fully open and everything is coming out. And of course, things can go in as well. Inside the vagina, there are glands whose role is to secrete some fluids. And these fluids play a key role in cleansing the vagina and also making sure that the vagina is safe from invaders or any unwanted particles or unwanted germs, bacteria, virus, etc. These secretions maintain the pH of the vagina in an acidic range, which means that the, the vagina is acidic. And so anything that goes in there that cannot stand the acidic pH is killed off. This is the body's way of regulating the atmosphere in the vagina to make sure that it is safe from infection, right? Very, very important. And so having said all this, it means that yes, it is perfectly natural to have vaginal discharge every single day because the vagina needs to stay clean every single day. And since the secretions are responsible for cleaning up the vagina, I would definitely want my vagina, if I had one, to be discharging every day. <laughs> that aside, the secretions also play a key role when it comes to sex or coitus. And that role is lubrication. So the secretions make sure that there's enough lubrication so that there's no friction, which could lead to tears, burns, and things like that. And so the secretions play a very, very important role in that regard as well. Very important. In as much as it is normal to have vaginal secretions every single day, the volume differs from woman to woman. Most women may not even be aware that their vagina is discharging every single day because the volumes are not so significant. Other women, it's quite obvious and they may even have to resort to using panty liners and things like that to help maintain some personal hygiene. So it varies from woman to woman. So the normal vaginal discharge is colorless to milky, has a mild smell or odorless, and it is not associated with any itching or abdominal pain or discomfort or whatsoever. That's normal. If the vaginal discharge at any point in time develops a very offensive odor or is associated with itching or low abdominal pain, then it's something that calls for attention. You need to go get evaluated and if there's a need to intervene, that intervention is carried out. It is important to also understand that the vaginal discharge varies along the menstrual cycle. So at some point in the menstrual cycle, particularly around the time of ovulation, the secretions tend to be more voluminous and so it's important as a woman to understand or to recognize how your vaginal discharge behaves along your menstrual cycle so that if there's a change or any variation you can pick it up early and deal with it quickly so know yourself and know your discharge this can save you a lot of distress but did you know that most women are responsible for problems related to vaginal discharge hmm this is definitely something that you want to pay attention to. So stick and stay, subscribe to the channel, and catch the next video where we are going to talk about abnormal vaginal discharge. Have a fabulous time. Stay blessed. Dr. Kelvin signing out.